What is going down my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary and been a bit since I made a video and this video isn't about Dragon Champions. I stopped playing Dragon Champions. I just I just can't do it. It kills me. It's just the negativity. It's brought me to a bad spot. I just I had to stop. So pretty much just playing Marvel Strike Force. Um, and as you all know, I love Jay Giggs, love the guy, great guy, awesome content creator. And he's been working with this company on an idle RPG game. I love idle RPG games because they fit my play style so well, right? Like, I'm a busy dude, I'm driving, I can just push the button, let it run through level after level after level. But I get bored with idle RPGs after like two weeks. Why? Theory crafting really isn't there. You have the same bland character as the next person, right? All of this stuff, just there's no customization. You can't really build the character the way you want to. It's either you grind your ass off, which I'm completely cool with the grind. Don't get me wrong, I love the grind. My favorite part of World of Warcraft was the grind. I, I like the build-up. But once you get there, that's it. Unless you spend an exorbitant amount of money. So he started playing this idle game. Um, Eternal Evolution. It comes out, uh, hopefully, when you watch this, it'll be Monday, the 7th. It comes out on the 9th. I did my research, dug into it, got an APK pack, got it on my phone, got it on this. I started like a burner account just to screw around with it because I thought I could mess my account up. This game could be the standard for idle RPGs going forward. So let's jump into it. I, I made a brand new account with my actual like Google. I can't do any purchases. I will make at least one purchase in this game because... I want to support the developers, right? So whether I choose to continue to spend money or don't spend money, that doesn't matter. But I'll at least buy one thing to show some support to them. Um, that's just my personal philosophy. So this game, I'm going to go over five reasons why I love this game. And I've been playing it for about three days. I'm really not even that far into it, um, but I'm digging it, really, really digging it, and I kind of got my screen blown up behind me because my screen capture wasn't working, so let me know, or when I watch, re-watch it, I'll let you know what I think of it. Um, let me just slide this over so we, you can see it all, typical Zary fashion. Okay, so it's your idle RPG. If you played an idle RPG, you have your stages, you go through it. But there's some really, really cool concepts in this game that I do like quite a bit. And a couple of those are um, basic kind of... Um, I want to make sure my mic was picking up. One, the characters, graphics, right? As the other content creator i love fg 3000 hero collector is only as good as the heroes you can collect right well they have some pretty amazing champs in this game um let's go to the gallery now there's three different factions terrain atlas and windfair and for people who love to hear me mispronounce names this is going to be an awesome game for us but the terrain uh, right now I have Omar. Everything, again, is free to play. I can't spend money. But look at that, that character concept. I mean, very, very cool. I might have to turn up the graphics on my blue stacks. Um, but there's some uh, voice acting, things like that. Graphics are really, really solid in my opinion. Um, I, I like the Raid Shadow Legends kind of style. And you're like, Zary, all I'm seeing here is some robots. That's fine. Um, this is a starter character. Just super, super cool. Kind of a Gunblade, Final Fantasy-esque. Um, so that is the terrain. This is the starting tank you get. Uh, not too fond of her right now, but that's okay. 
Um, but then you get into kind of like the Celestials. You know? It's uh, the first time I heard that intro. And these are all like rare characters. Now here's like the triple S character. I mean, that looks pretty damn solid. I like it quite a bit. The Windfare characters are my favorite. I mean, check out this Triple S. Just love that model. Absolutely love it. Um, but even the lower end characters. Just really kind of cool. You know? I, so there's a little bit of everybody. You got some fantasy. You got some future tech. Some steampunk kind of thing going on. Uh, I just unlocked this guy. And I am loving Langell. Lan, Langell, Sawtooth Mammoth, loving him right now. Um, so yeah, that's my first reason why I really think you should play this game. Um, and I think I'm going to start making a little bit of content on this because I really do like it. But um, we talked about not being able to customize people, right? Well, here, you, you know, you played your standard idol RPG you got to get a certain amount of characters to evolve them. The grind's a, a bitch, right? It, it sucks. You do have a talent tree, which I love. The Unstoppable, the Ironborn, you can activate them, and you move down the list. Every time there is an enemy around, injury recovery increased by 20%. He's a tank. He's going to be frontline. That's what you want. So let's activate that for him, right? Because... I like that. I mean, you can do both, obviously, of course, but uh, equipment. We just have your standard equipment, but what I love about the equipment is you can go to sets. They have sets of equipment in this game that you can mix and match. You can get your crit rate up if you want to. You could just go crit damage build. You could go a damage reduction build. You could go a defensive build. You could get accuracy for the debuffs. Super cool. That you do not really see in an idle RPG. Right? Now, some of the stuff I experienced on the other account, some of the stuff I experienced from watching JGig's video, also, a part of the idle RPG is the customization, right? But you're afraid to build a character. Well, you shouldn't be afraid to build a character in this game. Because you can reset your character for free. So you build a character, you reset it, you, because you think it sounds awesome, it really wasn't. Just reset them, get everything you got back into it, and put it into somebody else. It lets you explore characters way, way better than ever before. Also, you shouldn't be afraid with upgrading gear, because a lot of times it's like, oh, well, this is only a little piece of crappy gear, I don't want to put that much gear into it. Well, when you upgrade a piece of gear, and I can't with this, but my other one's like purple gear and stuff like that, you could. When, and then you go to sacrifice it later because it's a lower piece of gear. If you've upgraded it, it counts for more upgrades. So you're rewarded for putting your resources in. Awesome. Right? All right, so we went over the characters. We went over that. There's some really, really good quality of life in here, which is my third reason. Um, and... Number, or with the third reason, quality of life. Now, there's some things they can do. There's only two battle speed, right? I'll kind of run a battle here in the back just so you can kind of see it. Um, but, like, let's turn it up to two, right? Not super fast. It could be a little bit faster. Countdown timer is what it is. But, I'm going to pause it here for a second because... Or I could just go to the next one. Let's just go to continue. You know, usually you don't have a lot to do in these games. You just kind of watch. And that's always the case. You never get to pick what they're doing. Awesome. That, that's the whole point of this game. Now, there is an auto challenge. And when you get to 5-4, you can click that. And it'll just keep going and going and going until you lose. Quality of life. Awesome. Next one is... So, you, you start your challenge... You put it on auto. You can select if you want ultimates to go. So I can go auto all. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see, right? Fucking idiot. Um, you can shut off everybody. You can turn on everybody. But if you have like a healing class or an AOE class that you only want to go off at certain times, shut them off. So as this battle progresses 
and we are continuing to attack this character, right? What you'll see is he's going to go because he's on auto and I want him to do his job because he's a tank. This AoE is going to go. Now this guy is the guy we didn't put on auto. So now I can click on him and see this. I can now pick where his AOE is going to go because there's sometimes they'll have enemies pop over here, over there. So I can try to select the people I want with that target. So for boss battles and things like that, it, it can really, really come into to play there. So I just thought that was like a super, super cool touch. If I want to play a game, I can play it. If I don't want to play it, I just click auto and move on, right? Um... Another quality of life is there is a ton, and this is all pre-launch stuff still, right? But there is a ton to do in this game. And I, I haven't really unlocked it all, and it's got a really cool con concept behind it, but they feed you resources. Yes, you're going to be resource-starved. That's the point of any mobile game. But I don't... There's a ton to do, right? Like this, this is a battle order. I unlocked Omar, the war god. Now, what I can do is I can go through all of these things, uh, you know, at 5 a.m. They'll reset and there's more to do. But look at all these rewards. There is a premium path and a paid path or free path. I'm sorry. Right. So you do that. It's a lot. The premium is $14.99. I don't know. that That's a little steep to me. Some of the prices in this game, they go from one extreme to the other. But again, I can't buy anything because it, it's not out yet. Um, so I thought that was cool. Now, it's not with every character. Only with certain characters. But I still think it's pretty damn cool. There's events running all the time. you got your seven-day login character. Awesome. There is recruitment banners in this game. So you can go after people. And anybody who has, um, they have the uh, Battle Pass. But anybody who's played like a Rage Shadow Legends gotcha style game, it sucks. You know you want that one character, you can't get it. It is what it is. But this game, it isn't what it is. It's pretty freaking sweet. Um, this is your Borderland, uh, which I'll go over in a minute. But uh, I clicked the wrong one. I wanted to go to base. And this kind of ties in, I can show it now. My next one is just it's an overall cool concept. You have this, you're, you're colonizing this planet sort of thing. You break down. Now you're, you're building your hub up, right? So as you unlock stuff, like a ship will come over and it drops it down into place. Pretty cool. Um, in your hub, you get these. Nothing really special in here. When you complete a mission, you move it over and it unlocks it, right? Nothing real crazy there. But your recruitment center. This is really, really super cool. So your limited summon. So this is a banner for an SS character. You're guaranteed an elite after 30 recruitments on this banner. And you're guaranteed the triple S character after 60. So you have your pity system already in place. And I'm stealing this from JGig's video because I haven't pulled an SS character Say you're at 459 out of 60 on the pity. The 60th character is you, you pop you and you get it. Normally that resets your pity or you're at 58, right? And you're two away from pity. When you pull the SS character, it doesn't remove your pity. So you're guaranteed to get another one. It's a beautiful touch, which is going to push people into this faster. Awesome quality of life. Another awesome quality of life is they have the exchange. After every time you summon, you get these little uh, data chips. And they can be an exchange for a character. 120. So say you've been pulling for a while and you want that SS character, but you don't want to blow through your banners because you got 120, just buy them. Awesome. Really, really good quality of life. Pity's not there too, though. Um, you have your basic characters and you have your exchanges here full of elites. Now, these refresh every two weeks, I think it is. So, I already have 26 just by pulling basic characters. And look at, there's my tank I want, right? For 85. So, there's a whole bunch of cool characters in here. And if it refreshes, you got a chance to get that character you're missing. So, it doesn't really put anybody really behind 
a paywall, right? Now, I can't get to the advanced summon because it says after another nine basic summons. So we're going to go ahead and pop one while this is going on. Um, but the quality of life, uh, really, really good. It's very flawless to get through things. Very, very basic. So I do like that. And then the cool concept was number four, right? There's just different things you can do. Zayden Tenchi. Nothing real crazy. Ugh. And, you know, a lot of these guys are going to be fodder pieces, and you can level them up. It's it's pretty much your standard basic thing. Now, I did get an elite. This is where I got that elephant guy out of. So, not too shabby. Automatically dismisses my common heroes. Now, I'm going to move into advanced. Advanced is a guaranteed elite after 30. Another quality of life. Wish list. You can go after who you want. Amazing. I know Taylor's amazing. I kind of like this guy, so we're going to go after that. Uh, and I, I haven't really read a lot, a lot of the kits. I'm going to put Omar on there, and I'll, I'll save that for now. And you can go back in. You can change him. I can take Omar out, put Omar back in. Awesome. Sweet. Right? So let's pop a couple of those. And then my fifth one is just how cool the devs from at least what jgigs was saying to work with the discord's nice you can see him chatting in there they got a whole bunch of free codes it very much reminds me of early dragon champions where they're listening to people wanting the input oh there's an elite randall awesome you know so it just and it's new right new honeymoon phase i get all that crap but Automatically dismiss my commons. There's my pity. Awesome. Recruitment award. I'll take it. And then in here, same thing. Look at the exchange shop. Refreshes. Fantastic. And I can't do it right now. But um, you got to go watch JGig's video because when you go into your perimeter, which is like your you have your, your wastelands here which is like your daily uh i've completed it it's like uh you go from node to node to node to node you knock it out boom you're done your soul mine it's like your endless tower mode right you have your soul mine endless tower you continue to go and you just fight and fight and fight and fight there but when you do like your daily resource grinds you can look at other people's teams to see what they're running and then you can actually watch their attack to see if they're playing certain characters on auto you can really really do your research and oh so here let's just see if i can uh oh no i don't want to do that so you get your skill info it gives you recommended heroes right so poison explosion starts all the venom on the ground will transform into spiders it kind of shows you that right it's it, it's telling you you kind of want aoe champions in there really cool then you go to lineup so this guy's running and then you can actually click on the video and watch them fight so you can see what they're doing who they're running how they're playing things if they're putting it on auto all this stuff i was talking about See, right now, he's manually playing this, this fight. You can tell because it's not clicking. So he's waiting and saving some of those things for stuff to spawn. Just super, super cool. And you can see his DPS. All that stuff is just really, really neat. Super insightful. Um, and it really helps you out. So, like I said, this is just going to... It, it's doing everything right in the beginning now let's hopefully it holds up so is dragon champions but i'm going to continue to play this game because it is right up my alley it is what i'm looking for in a game so yeah i just wanted to let everybody know that and if you haven't pre-registered i don't have like a pre-registration link or anything but my buddy jgigs does so go over to his videos watch it click it get his pre-registration pack but um i don't have anything like that of course 
There's selector tickets in here as well. I forgot to mention a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't unlocked Arena, but I'm assuming it's probably in there. Um, you know, evolving, kind of the same thing. Click on this guy. Oh, follow. We can reset a champion. This is what I was talking about before. I don't want to reset this guy because I'm using him. But that's how you do it. You get all your stuff back. Cost nothing. Awesome, right? You can dismiss your commons. And I'm going to auto-select, get all my crap, right? And then for evolve, if we want to evolve someone, it takes two copies there. We just click evolve. That's what we get. And we move on with our life. Very, very basic. So we click out of him. Let's evolve, right? Just easy. Super easy. Very smooth. It might seem a little overwhelming at first, but it's really not. Um, and the cool part here is you can, you can make your portrait pretty much anybody you've unlocked in the game. So that is pretty solid. And they have frames and all that crap, but yeah, I kind of like the knight, but I don't know. Who should I, this guy looks kind of cool. Oh, and he even says when I obtained him. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll use this guy. Perfect. But yeah, just a fun little game, side game. It has the daily quest. It has missions, all that stuff. Red dots everywhere, and I click on it like an idiot. Um, go back to our hub. It's got the, the idle rewards to get your stuff when, you, when you're not around. But it's super fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's great. I wanted to let all everybody out there know about it. Um... Because, I, I, like I said, I get I get on this kick where I love these idle games for about two weeks, but then I get bored because there's no customization. There's no making characters feel like mine. There's no real theory crafting other than making a good guild boss or g gear grind. So, we'll see how it plays out, but I think this could be the staple for idle, idle RPGs to come. So, I wanted to let everybody know about their Eternal Evolution amazing game. So I just want to let everybody know, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.